best part of my day is when I get to share information with you. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot. And this is Wednesday. It is February 7th. Which means tomorrow being Thursday, I've got my live streaming event. I do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Me and my lovely co-host Taylor were there for about an hour, hour and a half, talking to investors about stocks you want to talk about. I share stocks with you all week. Chances are I'm not covering the stocks you want me to. So bring them on. Drop those tickers into the comments. I'll go over the information. Taylor will go over the charting and we'll give you a couple opinions on them. Now, the truth of the matter is I'm not getting to all the tickers that are being given to me. We've only got so much time. So I would suggest you get your ticker in early if you really want me to see it. I mean before the show. I put up a placeholder for this video around lunchtime. You can drop your ticker in then. First come, first served. So that's going to guarantee we look at it. Plus, that's going to give me more time to go over the information. I'll be able to give you more information. That's 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Thursday. So what I do on this show is share my due diligence with you on a hot OTC or penny stock. Now, I'm only looking at stocks under five bucks. And you know where I find them? On every market. And I'm looking for stocks that have potential to make money that I can share with you. Now, I normally find these hot stocks by looking at the charts first. I can look at a lot of charts in a little amount of time. And at a glance, I can see if there's heat in a chart. I can see a blue tsunami at the bottom of the chart telling me volume's coming in. I can see the price turning around and getting ready to cut through a strong SMA, a breakout setup. If I find a chart that has heat, then I'll take the time to rummage through all their filings and press releases looking for a catalyst. When I get a hot piece of news to match that hot chart, I've got myself a hot penny stock. And that's what we've got right here. This is Hollywall Entertainment, ticker HWAL. We've never covered this one before, and I only discovered her because of her chart. Her chart is an atypical breakout chart that is getting ready to break out right now in good timing. They just had news come out two days ago. They are changing operations. That means merger, and there's a bonus in it for us as well. So HWAL, she finished today at 4.5 cents with about 12.5% gains. She is on the OTC. The bottom tier, the pink tier, she is current. She's got that validated information I'm always harping to you about, about pinks. Pinks have no validated information. This is the only validated information we get, and it's unbiased. It comes from the OTC markets. Your verified transfer agent and verified profile, I'm not quite sure what all is being verified, but it's the only information verified with the pink. So I do like to see these here. Now, just because they're not here doesn't mean it's not tradable, but I really don't want to get stuck holding a bag that has no verified information. So what is this company about? All right, this is what they tell us here. Hollywa Entertainment is an emerging public company at the forefront of development and acquiring telecommunications, technology, media, and entertainment content that operates through a diverse range of subsidiaries and divisions, and which operates within the innovation technologies such as AI, blockchain, NFT, streaming media, 5G, Internet of Things, and renewable energy. Hollywa owns exclusive and non-exclusive rights to market, manufacture, and distribute music master recordings performed by legends such as Ray Charles, Ella Fitzgerald, The Jackson 5, Frank Sinatra, Dolly Parton, Elvis Presley, The Bee Gees, Chicago, and others. So that's what they say they do, but they're not going to be doing it anymore. Not the way I read the news. So what was the relative volume around the company today? We've got a jump about four and a half times their normal volume, over 400% increase, going from a mere 14,000 shares to a mere 65,000 shares. Not a lot of shares moving, granted, but it is a big increase, and you want to see movement going in the right direction. This is looking nice. Let's take a look at the share structure. That's not bad. Outstanding share count is only about 145 million. But the good part of that is, is that the insiders own the lion's share, about 120 million, which leaves us with only 25 million in this company. That's not a bad float considering. Market cap for the company, we're at about 5.8 million. Financials for the company, kind of looks like a mirror image here. 
Now remember, we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. So four years ago, they were at about 200,000, kicked it up to a half a million, carried that half a million for a year, and then dropped back down to 260,000. Now what's really good here is that they get to keep every single dollar they earn. Now you normally get to do this when you have consultancy, you're just giving people advice, or you have royalties, or you have digital products, which is probably the case for them. Taking a look at those quarterly reports. Well, they're up and down, but they're making money every single quarter and they're getting to keep every single dollar that they make. How about that balance sheet? Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> Thank God for those three zeros, right? It's not $1, it's $1,000 they have in the bank. That's probably just to keep the bank account open. Total assets, $95,000. Total liabilities, ouch, just under a half a million. So we are carrying some deficit with this company. Stockholder deficit is $374,000. Take a look at those disclosures. Don't have anything here since 2017. And I noticed they were doing 10Ks and 10Qs back then. Those are the financials you have to have audited. Now they're giving us disclosures. No audited going on here. All right, let's take a look at that news. Now there's not a lot of news to share with you. Actually, there's only one. The most recent piece of news behind this is all the way back in August of last year. And all of this news is about what they were doing with their music. This is about what they're going to be doing outside of their music. This came out February 5th. They tell us that Hollywall Entertainment to recruit a transition team for the purposes of changing their name and revamping the business model and brand. Lots of changes going on here. The company is a legacy entertainment company with an extensive catalog consistent of rights to 27,000 songs. They announced they have created a transition team which will play a significant role in guiding Hollywall's transformation into a pure play, cutting edge, technology driven company. That leaves no room for the library while actively seeking sales and revenue from its music library. Now, as part of the transition, this is what they're going to be doing. They are going to rebrand Hollywall, including changing the name, likeness, and the image. They are going to get a new board of directors and a new management team. So not only is it a change of operations, it is a change of control. They are going to sell their library, their assets. Looks like they're getting out of that completely. They are going to identify one or more suitable mergers or acquisition candidates. Well, if you quit one thing, you got, you got to find something else to do if you're going to be on the market. Then measures will be undertaken to improve Hollywall's capital structure, which may involve retiring companies' outstanding convertible debt, retiring the remaining preferred shares outstanding, a share buyback plan, and other actions to be disclosed in the future. Now here's the bonus for us. The board and management want our shareholders to know that Hollywall intends to provide a cash dividend to the shareholders with the net proceeds from a sale of the library. So they're going to get rid of their assets that they've been doing for however many years and start a new business. Well, they're going to sell the old business and divide it up amongst us. We're going to get a dividend. We don't need a merger for the dividend. We're not going to get any shares. I think it's probably just going to be a cash dividend. Now, I find it sad that this information was all the way at the bottom of this news press. A dividend. Look, OTC stock traders love dividends. So that is a catalyst. The fact that they have a merger or an acquisition coming is a catalyst. We've got a lot of catalysts going on here, but she is under the radar. Her volume is starting to pick up. Nothing to get excited about there. It's only 64,000 shares, but she is set up. She has catalysts. What else can you ask for? Let's go take a look at that chart. Let's take a look at Hollywall. This is ticker HWAL, and we're going to chart it on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. So I've got this opened up to a six-month, four-hour view. We have a high bubble in June of last year of 25 cents. Coincidentally, at that time, we also got our 200-day haul appearing on the chart. Off of that high bubble, she fell down to that 200 haul, skimmed underneath it, and then came up on top and laid on it. 
then snuggled up to the 50, falling back to the 200 haul, and she pushed off of this, getting all of her strength to jump to that 200-day SMA. Off of that, she fell down to the 50, bouncing up and down numerous times between the 200 and the 50-day SMA. And then she fell underneath the 50 down to the 200. Now, to me, this is a token sign she's going to break out. We have seen this numerous times. When the price falls back down to the 200 haul and hits it hard, we normally see a bounce through all of the SMAs and a surge. And we see that we've got our bounce off of it and she is starting to climb. Lots of green bars, not moving fast, but they are climbing. And right now she is right up underneath that nine day SMA. It's important for her to get on top. You can't climb till you're on top of the nine. Volume, super weak right now. We need that to come in. That would be a game changer. Our oscillators are looking pretty decent. They got the same arch as our 200 here. Everything is just about ready to turn up. We've got our MACD turning up, our PPO, and our RSI. It is climbing. She started here at 42, and she's currently at 48, which is still a little light for me. Take a look at our 20-day, one-hour view. Not a lot of bars on this 20-day chart. We're lucky if we got 20 bars. 20 days ago, we had a high of about 10 cents, 9.6. She fell down to the 50, fell under the 50, down to that low of 3.1 cents. And then over the last few days, slowly but methodically, she has worked her way over the 9 and now is sitting on top of the 9. Right? That's a monumental move. I'm not real happy about the 20-day SMA coming down over the 50, but that can easily turn around. Our oscillators, they're still looking good. Our PPO is still climbing. MACD is at a crossover. It's pushing up. And ever so slightly, our RSI is climbing, which is better than falling. Taking a look at our five-day, five-minute. Not a lot of trading going on right now, but the activity has picked up, as you can see. We got dashes here, which surprises me because I'm using Heiken Ashi bars, which kind of exaggerate the bar, and I rarely ever see a dash. So we had dashes, fell down to a low of 3.8 cents, snuggled up to that nine day underneath, and then at the back half of the day, she jumped. Not a huge jump, but we needed to start climbing. She went from four cents to four and a half cents. Went sideways, dribbled down a little bit, and right now she is at four and a half cents. So she's on top of her nine day SMA, light volume. Osculators, even here, are still pushing up ever so slightly. She's warm and not hot, but that could change like that, folks. We have a merger acquisition announcement. They say they're getting into technology. We'll see where that goes. They're going to sell their library of assets. That's going to give us a dividend. And these are catalysts that can easily get this stock moving. So now's a great time to be considering it. HWAL needs some more due diligence, but I don't know how much more you're going to get if they're changing everything. But it definitely belongs on your watch list. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.